I uh, just want to do a quick tutorial on making a sliding menu uh, in Framer X. Uh, I saw somebody post one earlier, a video uh, describing how to do this, and it was really kind of long, and um, it was a great, great tutorial, but I think a little bit too involved for most people, especially if you're uh, not familiar with any kind of web development and programming and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make this demonstration here and just show you how you can make a quick sliding menu uh, quickly in Framer X. So we're going to start by adding two frames here, uh, two iPhone frames. Uh, let's make this iPhone 8, and then we'll just duplicate that. I'm going to name these home screen or home, whatever and uh, menu. Now for the menu, we're going to make this like that. We're going to make it change the color of it. Okay. No, let's do that. So on our home screen here, um, first thing you want to do to get this to work, and this is just going to be a really basic overview on how to do this, uh, but you're going to want to make a text, uh, text element. Click on there and let's just type menu. Just keep it real simple. Uh, the next thing you got to do is with the menu text selected, you got to make it a, uh, you got to put a frame around it. And I use command enter to do that. And then let's make it a little bit bigger here like that. Let's just put it up in the corner. And I'm going to duplicate that actually, or copy it. And I'm going to take the copy. And I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to change this to say close. And we can just make this text color white or white or gray, whatever. Cool. So now we got that there. Now you're going to click on your menu uh, button frame. And all you got to do is click link for the target. You're going to select your menu. And right here it shows you uh, what you can do with this transition push, uh, let, we'll just leave it at the default settings just so you can see what you can accomplish uh, quickly. Um, let's take this uh, whole menu artboard. I like to move it over here just to visually keep all my ducks in a row. And the next thing you want to do too is click on this close button, uh, your close menu button frame. Go over to the link, target, previous frame. Uh, oh, one last thing you want to do too, uh, at least for me anyway, if you don't want the menu to slide in and cover the whole screen, uh, what you want to do here is adjust your link setting uh, to be, I think it's overlay. Let's see what that does. Um, yes, yeah, so let's, let's check it out. So select your home uh, screen here, just hit play. Ooh, now hit close. Very nice. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can get fancy if you want, you know, put some shadows on here. Why not? Uh, you know, have a ball. The uh, the other tutorial that I remember <laughs> seeing was going into the code. and was all sorts of crazy stuff um, that a lot of people aren't going to be interested in doing. But this is a really simple way to get a quick functional um, menu, uh, sliding menu into your application. So hope you liked it. And uh, maybe I'll make some more tutorials in the uh, future. I don't know. Maybe not.